So here are everything that you need to know about the Dell Inspiron 13 inch 5000 series from Costco. This is the most expensive Windows laptop that I've ever had. You can pick this up for $818.99 and that includes tax and recycling. I've had it a little less than three months so that's a lot of use and I think I know what I'm talking about at this point. But let's start off with the issues. The fan turns on when it really should not and it turns back off and then turns back on. It has some weird driver issues. The second driver issues that I had was the sound driver. It took close to 30% of the CPU a lot of the times. So I would consider this a fairly expensive laptop. It does not have the cool opening up the lid with one hand thing that a lot of Windows laptop and Apple laptops have these days. The speaker is very nice when it can bounce. I've had no ghosting issues that a lot of people reported. The display is very nice, but not very bright when you go outside. I would not get a laptop with a hard drive these days, and this one does not have a hard drive. It has a 256 gig SSD, and it's really fast. It comes with a copy of Microsoft Office, and that is not really useful to me since I use Google Drive for everything. The keyboard is satisfying to type in. The trackpad is also very decent. I like the fact that it the whole thing is a button. I've heard it from multiple people that it looks nice. But to me, it's still a little bit on the plastic side. I would consider it to be very portable. The weight does not bother me and the distribution is fairly nice. I, I found myself doing the flipping the screen a lot more than I thought. Similarly, I've also used the touch screens quite a lot, mainly for scrolling. I prefer to read things on my phone because of the natural scrolling and having this on my laptop was a big plus. Naturally, the next big thing to discuss would be battery life. As you can expect, you will not get 9 hours uh, that Costco advertises. But, I am a pro user that always have multiple tabs open at the same time. And with that, I expect to get around 4 hours. So far, my only complaints are driver issues. So that is the fan being turned on when it should not. And all these issues could be fixed with later drivers or fresh install of Windows. I have not done any video editing with this laptop, but it does have a SD card slot, which is nice. The power button is on the side. Also, you will see the volume buttons as well. So far, would I recommend this laptop? I would say so. The only problems are driver issues and if I had this laptop for longer, I would do a fresh install. Anyway, thank you for watching. Subscribe for more videos.